guys, it's Lee, and today I have two ground beef freezer meals for you. So I went through my freezers, and by freezers, I mean I have a like medium chest freezer, and we have a side-by-side -side refrigerator, and I found a bunch of stuff that I need to use up. Ground beef that was pre-cooked, I found a bunch of these frozen chopped onions, I had corn, I made these black beans in my Instant Pot, but you can use canned black beans, that's fine. So I thought I would go ahead and make up a couple of ground beef freezer meals just to share them with you guys and to have some easy dinners. Once they're put together and you get as much air out and seal them and put them in the freezer, they can last about three months. So just make sure you use them up in that amount of time. So the first one I'm gonna be making is kinda like a chili. Um, it's not a traditional chili, it's got black beans, it's got corn, we're gonna go with it. Alrighty, so let me get all this stuff out of the way and we'll start assembling the bags. You wanna make sure you are labeling your bags with what it is, how to cook it, and the date you prepared it. I'm gonna print out something um, on label paper and stick it to this so I don't have to actually write on it, but if you don't have labeled paper, just write everything out. I also am using vacuum sealer bags you can use just regular freezer bags. These actually probably are a little big, we'll see. Um, you can just use regular freezer bags. So because I don't have these on a holder or in a bowl, I'm going to add the non-runny ingredients first so that they don't make a mess. And the recipes will be down in the description box below. So you need a pound-ish of ground beef. I'll just put it all in there. You can use ground turkey, you can use ground chicken. If you use those, you might want to switch up and not use beef broth, beef bouillon, but it's up to you. Then to each bag, you're going to add two cans of drained and rinsed black beans. I have this amount of black beans, so I'm just gonna split it between the bags and call it done. was about two cups in each. Next add one cup of corn. Let's see how this works out. I'm adding in a cup of chopped onion. Once you get some stuff in the bottom, they'll sit up better. Next, add one tablespoon of minced garlic. You can mince your own. Next, one tablespoon of paprika. One tablespoon of chili powder. One tablespoon of cumin. One teaspoon of oregano. I hope I have enough. I think I should. Yep, we're good. Then you want to add in a tablespoon of beef bouillon granules or stock cube or something like that. I have this better than bouillon and I am just going to add about that much. I'm not really sure. I'm just gonna put it in. And as it's cooking, I can taste it. And if it needs more, I can add more. You can add salt and pepper to taste. I'm gonna wait until they are cooked, taste them and decide what they need at that point. And then lastly, I'm going to add in one 28 ounce can of tomato sauce, or 29 ounce, close enough. You can add in two of the 15 ounce ones if you need to. Then 
And there you have it. I'm going to pull out my seal mail. It's actually a generic vacuum sealer from Sears. Anyway, I'm going to pull that out real quick and seal these up. Once they are sealed, you want to lay them out flat on a cookie sheet and put them in the freezer. I'll tell you, I learned the hard way once. I just laid these right on the rack in the freezer and as a wire rack, not these, but a different one. And when it froze, it froze to the rack because it, you know, went down in between. So make sure you put them on something if yours has a wire rack. And once they're frozen solid, you can then stack them up vertically to save space in your freezer. I'm gonna go pop these in the freezer and then I will come back and make the second recipe. Next up is a ground beef and vegetable soup. I am gonna go ahead and get the ground beef put in these bags because some of it is still frozen and then I'll be right back. Next you want to add one cup of drained and rinsed chickpeas or garbanzo beans. I have these that I made in my Instant Pot. They're actually not cooked all the way through, but since this is going in a, um, since this is going in the crock pot, it should be fine. So next, each bag you would add in one large carrot chopped. I've got these from Sam's. So I'm gonna add in a handful. My family does not mind the big pieces of carrot. If they did, I would cut them up, but nobody cares here. And that's probably more than one large carrot's worth. Next, you wanna take one pound of zucchini and split it between the bags. I have this zucchini blend that I found in my freezer, so actually I actually have two bags, so I'm gonna use up both of them. I said one pound, I meant three pounds of zucchini. Don't forget, the recipe will be down below. One cup or one small onion diced per bag. Again, I gotta use up all this stuff in my freezer. One tablespoon of Italian seasoning. One tablespoon of minced garlic. You can use less if you know you're not that much of a fan of garlic. We love garlic, so it works for us. You can add salt and pepper to taste, but again, just like the last recipe, I'm gonna wait until this is cooked and then decide how much or if any salt it needs and how much pepper to put in. For this one, you wanna add in four tablespoons of the beef stock granules. I don't have that. So, I'm adding in a blob of my better than bouillon. And once it's cooked, you can always decide if it needs more. I probably should have put a little less in, but it'll be all right. And now I'm gonna add in one 29 ounce can of tomato sauce or smaller cans that add up to about that much. All right, so here are both of the meals. I'm just showing you one of each. There are three of each. Uh, the other four are in the freezer. So this beef and vegetable soup, you can add other vegetables. Just add whatever you have, really. It'll be delicious. So when you go to cook this one, the night before you put it in the refrigerator and let it defrost. The next day, put it in your slow cooker and add four cups of water and then cook it on low for four to six hours. Just make sure all of your vegetables are done. The meat's already cooked, 
So you just need to make sure your vegetables are tender, and in my case, I need to make sure the beans have finished cooking. Also, if you want a little heat to it, you can add cayenne, red chili flakes, Tabasco, whatever flavor you like, you can add to this. You can add anything you like to it, it's your dinner. But you know, if you like a little heat, go ahead and add that in. I didn't yet, because I'm not quite sure. I think we'll just decide on the day that we cook them if we want heat and what kind, and also decide if it needs salt and how much pepper. All right, then the black bean and corn chili. For this one, super simple, defrost it in the refrigerator overnight, add it to your slow cooker, and cook on low for four to six hours. Again, add your heat at that time. You can add it now if you know what you want to put in. Go ahead and add it right now. I'm just going to hold off. I think I need to do this one first to get all the air out. So this might be the first one I cook. So let me know down in the comment section below what you think of these recipes. Also, let me know if you try them. You don't have to make them into freezer meals. You can just put all the ingredients together in your slow cooker and cook it and have it for dinner that day. I'm just trying to make life a little easier for down the road. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, I do lots of different types of videos. I do a lot of Dollar Tree hauls subscription box unboxings, and recipes. Everything is in playlists, so check out my playlists and you can find the types of videos that you like best. Also, if you're new, consider hitting that subscribe button and the little bell, it's totally free, and that way you get notified every time I upload new videos. You can also find me over on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook at Lee's Home 05. Thanks for watching. Bye.